So I've just downloaded this uh, free orchestra la library. Amazing sounding library for free. It's unbelievable that it's out there. Uh, this kind of things from Project Sam. And I'll, I'll leave the link in the description so you can go and check it out. And uh, as you know, I've been composing a lot of a um, little bit more orchestral music, more cinematic. I've been doing something here very quickly with this sample library uh, because I just literally downloaded it this morning. And uh, I'm going to be uh, getting more uh, uh, free sample libraries uh, like this one. Uh, there are a few out there. Uh, and I just want to almost like make a point, I guess, if you will. I want to make a point that you, you can't do uh, music with uh, free libraries. You can't do music uh, with, with free samples. And uh, you don't need to, to spend money, even though it's nice to spend money on, uh, on higher-end libraries like this one. I mean, these guys are heavy hitters when it comes down to, to sample libraries. But I just want to make a case that even with free stuff, you can still make something uh, nice and something uh, pretty, pretty amazing, if you will. And, and you know, uh, do your own thing, kind of, you know, if, if, if that makes any sense. I like to, my cinematic music, I like it to be very minimal. Uh, my orchestral music, I like it to be very simple and meaning that I like just a few instruments. I don't like heavy orchestration. Uh, 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 3,000 tracks uh, and I like to try to take to, uh, some inspiration from uh, from cinematic themes uh, the first one that comes to my mind that is very minimal is uh, from the soundtrack uh, of the Joker that film uh, which uh, with uh, Joaquin Phoenix amazing film amazing soundtrack I went actually to the movies to see it uh, and it's just so minimal you can tell that it's just very minimal uh, instrumentation when it comes down to to this particular uh, feeling that they were trying to evoke. And it's not this amazing uh, full-blown orchestral instrumentation. So I like this kind of music when it comes down to cinematic music. I like very minimal uh, effects uh, when it comes down to what instruments I'm going to choose. So this is what I, come up, I came up with uh, this morning, or, or as we speak right now, actually. Uh, very, very minimal. I'm still testing the, the library. Uh, but, you know, again, this is aimed for TV, music, drama. I wanted to do a little bit of a crime kind of thing. I don't know how this fits there. But anyways, just have a listen and tell me what you think. basic loop uh, very uh, straight to the point if you will I'm gonna add some more uh, bits and bobs uh, it has a it has some sounds there it's quite quite amazing I mean let me show it to you so it's pretty it's pretty good so this is what it will look like and it has a few instruments it's not a lot but for for, for a freebie I think it's quite inspiring and uh, it's, it's quite nice. It has some multi over here as well, and that's all you have to work with. But all of the sounds, they they, they really are, uh, they're really good. They're really really good. I think they've they've been very well sampled, and that's just the free stuff. Imagine the actual uh, paid stuff, which is amazing. I've heard it, and uh, they're all very good. But uh, the free stuff is really really good. Uh, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description so you can go and check it out. Again, I'm trying to focus on uh on a lot of crime TV kind of themes and I will, I will be working more on this uh, type of genre and uh, yes I do feel the need to to, to to get some new sounds obviously because this relies heavily on, on samples and, and whatnot and I try to uh, make it as organic as, as, as I can anyways okay uh, but again, I'm trying to do the case study and show you that you can actually do this type of music and do orchestral music with uh, free samples that are out there. Uh, they sound fantastic and, you know, before you even purchase the, the full-blown library or the full, uh, uh, you know, different samples that are out there, especially from these guys, they're really amazing, have very, very, very professional sounds. Uh, even with the free stuff, you can just get away with a lot, you know.
And, uh, and if you're somebody like me that just likes very minimal stuff, I only need a few uh, sounds when it comes down to, to violins and some orchestral hits here and there, some percussion, that's it, you're done, man. You don't need a lot, you know? Uh, you don't need 3,000 tracks of orchestral music, even though that might be your thing. You know, if you are one of those composers who actually relies heavily on orchestral music, and yes, then you need the whole full-blown uh, orchestral instrumentation. But for me, uh, I like to, to play a little bit more, more minimal. I don't consider myself an orchestral uh, composer anyway, so I like to work with limitations. So this gives me enough uh, for me to just actually be creative and see what I can bring to the table. So anyways, a link in the description for this uh, uh, free sample library. Amazing, loads of fun. I had a lot of fun uh, composing this uh, little piece. And this is just like a taster. This is literally, I've done this like five minutes ago. And I said like, oh, I should have recorded the whole process, but because it's so simple, you know, I just decided to like, okay, let me just get the camera very quickly, show you what I'm doing. Uh, and as I'm working on it, I'll share more with you. And uh, the more I get involved into this genre, see if uh, what can I share and uh, how my whole process of composition is. Anyways. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Thanks for all the love and support. Hope this video finds you well. And as always, rock and roll. And here's to your success.